Greetings comrades, Multigame Master 1 reporting in and welcome back to Let's Replay 100% Super Mario Sunshine. In the last episode, we completed Serena Beach 100% and now in this episode, we're going to investigate this mysterious band of light. Now, if you recall from Super Mario 64, there was a beam of light that you could stand in and if you stared at the sun, you'd be taken to the Tower of the Wing Cap, a secret level in Peach's Castle. Let's see what happens if we do the same thing here. So just stand in the beam of light, Look at the sun, and you'll be taken to the next level, Noki Bay, Episode 1, Uncork the Waterfall. By the way, I will admit that this is my least favorite level in the game, and there are plenty of reasons as to why that is. You're going to see why soon, but for right now, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Ah, welcome! Master Mario, I presume? How do you know? We have heard much about you. Yes, and all of it good. That makes sense. Does that include the crime committed on Isle Delfino by me, by the way? As for me, I'm just an old man who loves nothing but fishing. But lately, I've had a terrible problem. Please look up there. As we will see, the waterfall of Noki Bay has been corked up and the Matsimo is positioned on top of the cork. Either Shadow Mario or the Matsimo is responsible for this. But for all we know, both characters could be responsible. I don't know who did it, but someone caught our waterfall. This, no doubt, is why our lovely bay has become polluted. And I can't even fish. And so I ask for your help. Yank that cork. Please fulfill this old man's wish. <coughs> sure, why not? What's that? You'll do it? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I knew I could count on you. Just beware that guy on the cork. No problem. You don't want to set foot in the polluted waters below, by the way, otherwise you will constantly take damage. Now, Noki Bay does have some interesting mechanics like this. To keep going from here, all you need to do is to squirt water into this pot, and you'll be able to keep going as you make your way to the top of the cliff of Noki Bay. There are also some wall paintings right here that, if you squirt them with water, they will reveal some secrets within the walls of Noki Bay. There are also some hidden platforms within the walls of Noki Bay that you can reveal if you simply wash away all of the goop. We're going to need to make use of all of these platforms in order for us to get to the top of the cliff and confront that Matimo. Also, as you're making your way to the top of the cliff, you want to watch out for those orange rolling balls over there, known as Gorpedos. They will roll right into you, and if you touch them, then you will take damage as well as be covered up in the goop. So be careful and try to find a safe zone against them. Okay, so far so good. Let's keep going from here. When its platform makes its way to the top, you want to get off of it as quickly as possible because within time, it will start to descend back to its original level given that water will start leaking out of the pot. Let's go over here. We have a nice safe zone over here. Also, the thing about the Gorpedos is if you squirt them with water, then it is possible for you to get bottles of water from them in return so that way you'll be able to replenish your water tank should you end up running low on water. It's a lot more convenient than just going back to the very beginning of Noki Bay and replenishing your water tank down there because consequently, you'll just have to restart your climb. Okay, let's keep going from here. You know, what I can't stand the most about this mission is if you stand on the goop or water and you're on a sloped hill, then Mario will just slide to the beginning of the hill and you'll have to start over again. It's really annoying and it can be very time consuming. Also, within the walls of Noki Bay, you want to keep an eye for certain props like this because if you're not careful, then you will be flung a far distance, possibly even back down to the beginning of Noki Bay and therefore you'll have to restart your climb. So be very careful of secrets, more specifically those props to be found within those secrets. Oh, are you Mario? That guy down there is my teacher. I mean my grandpa. <laughs> that cork is farther up ahead. Be careful though. There's a weird guy perched on top of it. He'll start tossing explosives at you if you get too close. I thought you might need help, so I got you this springboard. If you spray it, it'll shrink and be easy to carry. Please use it. Thank you. As you will see, if you squirt the springboard with water, you'll be able to carry it as it shrinks. And if you place it, it will revert back to normal, and you can use it to reach heights like this for you to pick up this 1-Up Mushroom. Now enough about that. Let's get back to the main mission, dealing with this Montimo. The way in which you defeat Montimo is the same as before. All you need to do is to stop the Bob Bombs dead in their tracks with some water, and then toss the Bob Bombs directly at the Montimo. 
Do this three times and he'll be as good as defeated, just like that. Watch what happens when this Monty Mole is defeated by the way. Pressure is increased within the waterfall, the cork pops out, and the cork in the Monty Mole is sent off into the sky. Looks like that Monty Mole is blasting off again! Once you defeat the Monty Mole, here is where you can pick up the Shine Sprite. And with the Restored Waterfall, Noki Bay should be back to normal. Episode 2, The Boss of Tricky Ruins So, quick question guys, who do we normally turn to when we don't have a lead as to where to go to next? Well obviously it's an individual that knows this area like the back of his hands. So we're gonna have to talk to the Noki Elder. Before that though... Mario, thanks for all your help earlier. That was truly spectacular. Would you mind being my new teacher? What? I mean, never mind. My grandpa's up ahead and he wants to tell you something. Okay, let's make our way to the Noki Elder. Watch out for the Chief Chiefs along the way. You can squirt them with water in order to cause them to back off. Hmm, Mario being a Noki's teacher. I'm not sure if Mario would accept an offer like that. Even though in general, he is a nice guy. Hey there, Noki Elder. Excellent! Way to go, Master Mario! You have returned our waterfall to normal. Bravo! What's that? The ocean's still dirty? Strange. Yeah, I forgot to mention that, guys. It looks like my theory was way off. Oh god, I get lightheaded just doing that. That's okay. I think I've got a lead on the real cause. Now this may not seem like much of a reward, but I'm going to reveal to you one of Noki Bay's deepest secrets. Why he's choosing to show me this now, I don't really know. I mean, I'd much rather be figuring out the main problem within Noki Bay regarding the pollution problem. But hey, whatever he wants to do. This bay actually contains the tomb of an ancient Noki King. When you spray water on the wall paintings, a path usually opens. It's almost like magic, and one path leads to a hidden shine sprite. Honest, this is all true. Maybe. Well, there's only one way to find out. To get started, what you want to do is to squirt that wall painting up there with some water, and you'll reveal a maze within the walls of Noki Bay. Navigate your way through the maze as quickly as possible before the maze is concealed within the walls again, otherwise you'll have to start it all over. Blue coin that I've got by the way. I figured that I may as well get that since I really don't want to have to make a second trip back here. That and it was close to me. Okay, we're out of the maze, let's keep going. Blue burst, what the heck are you guys doing here? I thought I seen the last of you in Rico Harbor. Something's not right here. By the way, graffiti you can wash away to get a blue coin in return. And now from here, we can proceed into the second maze. This is another reason as to why I don't like this level by the way, because in this instance, it's difficult for you to get blue coins in certain spots within a maze. But as you can see, I got that on my second try. Second time's the charm, I guess. And with that, we can now proceed within the maze. Like a mouse trying to find his way through a maze in order to find some cheese. I've actually seen someone do that in middle school, and that experiment was really cool. Wait, I'm hearing something. What is that? Oh, hi, Gooper Blooper. It's so good to see you again. Well, it's just like old times. Now, the way in which you defeat Gooper Blooper is the same as before. First, you wash off the gunk off of his face. Then pull the key tentacles of interest, more specifically those closest to his mouth. And then, once he's defenseless, you can grab his mouth, pull back, and snap it for you to defeat him. Of course, if we're all familiar with this by now, once Gooper Blooper is defeated the first time, it will spring back up into action in an attempt to attack you the second time. So, we're gonna have to do this all over again. As I said before, it's just like old times. And there's nothing really different or more difficult about this boss fight. All you do is just repeat the same thing. That's it. Okay. Here we go. Removing this last tentacle. And now we can get after the Gooper Blooper. Stop resisting, Gooper Blooper. I'm gonna give you such a pinch, and you are going to enjoy it whether you like it or not. The Gooper Blooper is now defeated. I wonder where it's gonna end up. Uh... I hate to imagine what happened to that Gooper Blooper. I guess one could say it ended up getting a severing headache. Anyways, once you defeat the Gooper Blooper, 
fall down here and you'll be taken to the ancient tomb of the Noki King. And in the middle is where you'll find another shine sprite. Real quick, there are a couple of blue coins that we can get here. Just squirt the vases and you'll be able to get the blue coins. There. Once you grab both of these blue coins, pick up the shine sprite in the middle of the tomb. Episode 3, Red Coins in a Bottle Our next mission takes place in a small bottle. If we're all familiar with Super Mario 64 mechanics, Mario can actually go in small objects like these. I've got it! Yes, I surely do have it. What have I got? Why, the answer to our polluted ocean problem, of course. And the answer is you. You must go to the ocean floor. Of course, that is impossible for you at the moment. Therefore, I've made an area for you to hone your skills. You know, I wish I had time to read that, but sadly I didn't, so I had to speed read that. Wear this and you can stay underwater for much, much longer. Use that flood to move around and get red coins. But don't overdo it. If you run low on air, here's what you do. Just grab some regular coins to refill your meter, okay? Now, shall we get started? Right, let's do this. Into the small bottle we go for our next mission. Also, get a load of this. The bottle appears much more bigger than what we've seen before, and it's levitating in the sky. This game is weird, and Isle Dolfino is quite mysterious. Anyways, what you need to do in this mission is to find and collect all 8 red coins within the bottle. Use Flood in order for you to hover to certain places for you to get red coins. Look at all of the fish that the Noki Elder has caught, by the way. Oh, and speaking of fish, there are some cheap cheeps that you need to avoid, otherwise they will drag you down to the bottom of the bottle. There is one particular red coin that's difficult for you to get, and that's this one right here. For some odd reason, there's some kind of current in the bottle, and you need to position yourself just right in order for you to get the red coin. Just keep that in mind. Okay, with that, we can now pick up the last two red coins, one right here, and one right over here, and here is where we can pick up the Shine Sprite. It's no wonder that the Noki Elder considers fishing to be his main hobby. Before we grab the Shine Sprite, there is one secret that I want to show you guys. It can be found in this hole, and if I can position the camera just right, there we go. As we will see behind the small door, there is a small book. The purpose behind this book was to serve as an objective for a mission for you to complete, in which you had to retrieve the book and give it back to the Noki Elder. Unfortunately, this was scrapped by Nintendo for some reason, so instead they replaced it with the red coin mission. You know, in my honest opinion, I think it would be much cooler if we went through a mission like that, collecting a key item for one in need. But I digress. Episode 4, Elymouth's Dentist With preparations now complete, the time has come for us to take on the main source of the pollution problem in Noki Bay. Firstly though, we need to make our way to the top of the cliff. Before that though... Oh Mario! You're finally setting out for the ocean's bottom! Grandpa is waiting for you up top. Oh, don't forget to wear this. You can use this rope as a shortcut to reach Grandpa. Thank you for the rope and the helmet. This rope is pretty handy for you to use as a shortcut because you can make some progress and make your way to the top of the cliff. And I would cut away to when we get to the top of the cliff so we can talk to the Noki Elder, but I figured that I may as well show you guys that when you defeat the Monty Mole and restore the waterfall, the path is pretty much clear for you to take and you don't have to worry about anything else. Once you make your way to the top of the cliff, talk to the Noki Elder. You look like you're ready. The gunk in the ocean is caused by a giant eel. It's moving to our ancestral home at the sea floor, and it's nursing some nasty cavities there. Let's take a look. So as we will see here, the waterfall has created a potential gap within the polluted waters of Noki Bay. This will allow us to reach the sea floor. The newly uncorked waterfall created a gap in the pollution that you can use as an entrance. Jump right in there. Dive to the bottom of the ocean and clean that eel's teeth. Doing so will ease his pain and he'll return from whence he came. Hey, that rhymes. No doubt about it. Now gather your courage and dive! I'm on it. Before we get started though, there is one blue coin that I want to get here real quick. 
as well as something that we can find in this ice block. Just squirt it with some water and you'll reveal a 1-up mushroom as a good luck charm. With that, we can now go inside the waterfall and move on to the bottom of the sea floor. Welcome to the beautiful underwater city of Noki Bay. It looks beautiful. Reminds me of Atlantis. Okay, looks like we have something right down below us. Something really creepy that we're going to have to face when we get to the bottom. I wonder what it possibly could be. It could possibly be the next boss. My sensors show highly toxic materials approaching. You can get rid of these toxic bubbles if you squirt them with water, but alternatively, you could just move around them in order to avoid coming in contact with them. Okay, we're getting close. This is dangerous territory. And here is the next boss of the game, Ely Mouth. Wow, look at its teeth. It seems we're being attacked by platformy bacteria. Though it seems, Flood. Though it seems. Now what you need to do to defeat Ely Mouth is to clean its teeth. Use Flood's hover nozzle in order for you to do this. You can also use Flood's hover nozzle as a means of escaping this current that the Ely Mouth stirs up within its mouth, as weird as that seems, for you to avoid being swallowed by it. And if you get caught by the Ely Mouth, then you will be trapped in there for some time and you will lose some air in the process, so be careful. As you're progressing in this boss battle, you want to keep a close eye on your air meter for you to stand a better chance in this boss battle against Ely Mouth. Remember to constantly keep grabbing coins as you're progressing in this boss battle. And that Illy Mouth almost swallowed me, but thankfully it didn't. Okay, let's get to cleaning the teeth. Oh, is that a golden tooth? There's gotta be something in there. Has to be. Uh-oh, I'm running low on air. Need to get some coins. There is an alternate method that you can take for you to replenish your air supply, and I'm going to show that if I possibly can, and if the Illy Mouth will be able to cooperate with me. Oh, come on, you retreated back down to the cave? I wasn't done with your teeth yet. Stop spinning around, you're making me dizzy. Okay, seriously, stop. Thank you. Okay, show me those teeth of yours, show me those pearly whites. Of course, technically, some of your teeth aren't pearly white, they're still cluttered with all of that purple gunk. You know, I have to wonder what the Illy Mouth himself has been eating that caused this bad case of gingivitis, as well as the pollution problem in Noki Bay. Come on, hop out. I don't have all day, you know. Oh, I could take this opportunity to show you the alternate method. Actually, I'll do it later, given that the Illy Mouth has popped out. I wish I could have done this earlier, but hey, what can you do? Also, as you dislodge a certain tube from the Illy Mouth, then it will retreat back down to the cave, and it will give you the opportunity for you to replenish your air supply. Okay, um, real quick, let me get another coin. So I can replenish my air meter. Okay, good, it's retreated back down to the cave. Now, if you squirt the toxic bubble with enough water, then you will be able to convert the bubbles into regular bubbles that you can use as a means of replenishing your air supply, as you will see here. Just make your way inside the bubble swarm, and you'll be able to restore your air supply just like that. And that's all you need to know about this boss, so with that, let's go ahead and clean the rest of this eel's teeth. I have to wonder what gender this is, by the way. On one side, it's male, but on the other side, it's female. Remember to take proper care of your teeth. That's the main moral of this mission, guys. Always remember to take proper care of your teeth, and brush twice a day. Otherwise, you'll end up with a bad case of gingivitis, like that eely mouth. This was supposed to take form of a cutscene, but for some reason it didn't. It happens in the game sometimes. Once you defeat the Ely Mouth, here is where you can pick up the Shine Sprite. Now I realize that we're running short on time in this episode, but we're going to make time for one more mission and then end things off. Episode 5, Il Piantissimo Surf Swim. In this mission, we will see the return of Il Piantissimo. It seems as though that he's just begging for a rematch. Well, if it's a rematch he wants, it's one he gets. Before that though... Thanks to you, our bay is clean again! Thank you! You're very welcome. Now hopefully all of our people will return home again. We owe it all to you. Thanks. And say, do you know that guy? He's been waiting up there for you for quite a while. Yeah, we know him. He's Il Piantissimo. 
just waiting for a rematch. Let's not waste any more of his time. Let's make our way over to him and challenge him to another rematch. Hey there. Ho ho! Foolish man! I am Il Piantismo! Yes, that is me! And now I challenge you to a race to that flag! The flag in question is located on that small beach over there. All we need to do to get the next shine sprite is to beat Il Piantismo in another race to that flag. It is a race to the finish. The best time is 40 seconds. Are you at the ready? Then get set and go! Alright, here we go again. You're going to find that it's difficult for you to race Il Piantismo in this race. What the heck? What was that? Was that another one of those props? You know, on the one hand, that gave me a huge advantage, but on the other hand, I never saw that before. That's really weird. But uh, anyways, you're going to find that it's difficult for you to beat Il Piantissimo in a race if you prefer swimming, because you and him just travel in the same speed as you're swimming. Also, you can swim in the water given that Noki Bay is clear of the pollution. An alternate way for you to beat Il Piantissimo is if you make use of those platforms as well as Flood's Hover Nozzle. 40 seconds is the time that you need to beat in order for you to get the next Shine Sprite. Woo! Ha! Hey. You are quite speedy! You are like a fish! You may not be the slow clam chomper I took you for. May we race again? Watch for me! Once you beat Il Piantissimo in another race, here is where you can pick up the next Shine Sprite. Great race, Il Piantissimo! Here's hoping we can do it again soon. I'm really having a lot of fun with it. And with that, that is going to be the end of this episode, so I'm going to end things off here for now. Next time on Super Mario Sunshine, we are going to complete the rest of Noki Bay. So, thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. This is Multigame Master 1, over and out. See you later, comrades!